So people ask us a lot, you know, why the name, why the series, what was the impetus behind it? Marshall, you're about to go into public office, you got to build a staff, you're busy, Dennis, your hands uh, are in a lot of things. You know, what made you guys do this? And it, it's actually very interesting given the term intersection because it's applicable uh, on a, a number of levels. First of all, just with the two of us at the intersection colliding, getting together to do something, um, you know. Because we've always been together, like we've always been on the same parallel right. you know, of throwing events. Being promoters, being, being, he got the party Friday, I got the party Saturday. Being in politics, his dad was the mayor, growing up around it on the peripherals, and then now being an actual a part of that and actually calling his dad for advice right. helps with all Those that full stuff. Circle. So full circle, now that he's a successful businessman, I've actually moved on from municipal government to state legislature. We were on the way to the White House. We talk about things. And we just wanted to do some things in the community. We know what's happening downtown, and it, it's it's almost on autopilot. And folks are always like, what's going on in the community? What's going on in the community? And we're just showcasing some things in the community and people who do things in the community that often get overlooked by the media. Yeah, I mean, I think just given what's going on in Detroit now in terms of the investment and the associated press around that investment, uh, it's the downtown restaurants, it's the tech startups, it's the uh, billion dollar investments that are the headlines and get all the coverage. Uh, I'm a beneficiary of that as it relates to my downtown restaurant, Central Kitchen and Bar, but we recognize, Marshall and I, the fact that there are a number of establishments, many of them African American owned, around the city and the neighborhoods that have been around for years through Detroit's ups and downs. And so we feel like those establishments should also get some attention uh, in the same way that the newer downtown folks that have been here for two or three years, uh, and they're welcome, we need both. We need a successful, vibrant downtown, but in order for the city to fully come back collectively, we need some activity in the neighborhood. So if you look at what we did at Baker's, for instance, Marshall and I both brought our collective audiences to Bakers, many of whom had never been there. Uh, those who had been there hadn't been there in years. And so if you looked at how eclectic the crowd was, um, it was just fascinating. Bakers was very happy with how they did financially that night. And then I think it was probably your idea to, to do awards because there's a, in the same way that they're kind of these unsung heroes in terms of the neighborhood and restaurant bar owners. They're people that are entrepreneurs and people doing things philanthropically and politically and from a grassroots activist standpoint in the neighborhoods that also don't get front page access because the large foundations and the companies that are giving $5 million um, get all the accolades yeah, and the press. Exactly. And it's all good work, but we're all working on this together to make Detroit and the region a better place. And we you know, we're coming off life support like I said, and so we're getting our pulse back and everybody's trying to find their way, some find their niche. Some folks have been working in silos for a long time doing their thing in their community, but it goes unrecognized or unappreciated and we're trying to appreciate that. So we just think it's fantastic. I mean, we, we're going to do it once a month. This is the second Tuesday of the month. Um, people are already asking, hey, where are you guys going next? Uh, we're not going to announce that yet. We'll announce that after the first of the year. Um, but we're excited about the series. I mean, it's picking up momentum. Owners of restaurants and bars are reaching out, inviting us to come do it there. Bands are coming to say they want to perform there. People are bumping into me saying, hey, take, yeah, my, card. take my card, you know, I, I didn't get invited to the last one, let me know about it. And so, uh, what we don't strive to do is to create some humongous event with uh, 800 people coming, you know, on Tuesday night, lying down the street and having to go to a bigger venue. I mean, sticking true to what we came up with, I think we're gonna go to smaller neighborhood places and whoever gets there first gets in. Because we actually are, neighbors of Bakers. We live in right. that neighborhood. That's our we neighborhood. live in that area. Not only is it my Senate district, but we actually live there. So that right. liver noise corridor has been a part of my whole life outside of living outside the state of Detroit. I mean, the state of Michigan. So, I mean, I appreciate you guys coming out. I mean, City Talk is obviously an important 
um, outlet here in the Detroit market. And so we hope to have you come to all of our events and cover and cover those that get the awards. Uh, Jason Wilson and uh, Nicole Small got awards this past uh, event. Jason for the phenomenal work he does with young African American men in Detroit through the union. Um, and Nicole is a real estate investor um, and then an activist in the community and just recently was elected to the City of Detroit Charter Commission which gets enacted every 10 years or so and so and prior to that we had uh, we had gave accolades to Bakers for their long time as establishment and Rufus Bartell for being instrumental along with some of his family members and some other the mayor of Livernois he's the mayor of Livernois right. they have been the catalyst on that whole resurgence in the avenue of fashion from simply casual to cuzzles to Times Square to the suit shop and other things and having good conversations and interacting with the mayor's office and city government and making sure things happen over there. Um, you know, actually, you know, people often inquire, you know, how do I get invited? Is there a list? I mean, this is one of those situations. This is open to the public. And so there is no guest list at the door. There's no cover. Uh, there's no VIP seating. We save seats for the city council person making the award. You save seats for the families of the people that are getting the awards. Outside of that, we purposefully want people to come in and mix a mingo, sit next to somebody you don't know, uh, you know, share some soul food, listen to some good jazz music, and hang out. And just add to the atmosphere of the venue that we're at. I mean, it's it's safe. We make sure it's safe and you get to experience something that you probably haven't experienced in a long time or for the first time and so we'll move around the city um we've been doing this actually i've been doing it for a little while longer with a small little project i was doing with the pack but you know we'll talk about that later but city talk you know y'all y'all are always everywhere right the voice of detroit city talk the voice of detroit city talk the voice of detroit